Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x2 test tent with another unboxing video. Man, it's been a nice break. Had some time off to decompress, spend some time with the family over the holidays. Hope you had a good holiday as well. Now we are back at it. I've got a bunch of lights to review. So uh, let's get into it here. This one's from Parfact Works. I've reviewed uh, one of their lights before, and I've got a few more uh, to review. So uh, we've got, of course, a uh, meter meter. We've got the watt meter. We've got the par meter spectrometer, the heat meter, and baby katana. So let's uh, get the meters out of the way, and we will get down to business and see what's in the box. All right, and I just sharpened up baby katana so it should be real easy to open everything up and it is uh, from Amazon so it's a box in a box and they have uh, cool boxes on all their inner boxes they have some artwork and stuff on them there we go so this is the uh, Par 1200 Pro, looks like. It's got the Pro sticker. So right on the outside here, um, I really hope that it has this... <laughs> I really hope that it has that on the board, because that would be actually really cool. And it says it has Samsung LED, passive cooling, dimmable, slim design, full cycle, three-year warranty. Straight on the box. I like that. Open it up. We got Stop Looking and Grow With Us. Uh, all right, so uh, then you've got, uh, what's this guy here? Daisy Chain. So you got your Daisy Chain options. Some recommendations, uh, hanging height tips for the different stages. Their par mapping. And info there if you want to take a read of that. And I like their stickers. They have these sweet stickers of the alien. Alien growing pot. I really dig their stickers. And they give you a bunch of them too. So you get a bunch of slaps. Now we get down to the meat and potatoes. Oh, accessory. Well, that's a new one. Thermometer hygrometer. Wow. Wow analog not even a digital one usually the most companies will include a digital one i actually like the analog one that's pretty cool sweet standard hanging kit one rope ratchet boy that's hard to see in there it looks like plastic but it's shiny it looked almost like metal like almost like black metal but I believe it is plastic gear got the other hanging kit bag daisy chain power cord is attached to the unit let's go ahead and pull the box out of the way oh it does have the design on it that is cool holy crap all right so let's open this up now that's sweet more companies need to do that, I think. You could have like different artists like submit their designs. That is kick ass. <laughs> really, really cool. Grow or die. <laughs> wow. I just want to hang this on the wall. Like this is art. For me as an LED connoisseur, uh, like this is like something I would hang on the wall just just because damn that's sick looking dig it so other side here we got the driver fa what's that fa hold fa hold driver but I don't know what it is but they got the uh, website there fa hold.com And it says uh, power draw 120 watts is what it says over here 
cord is not detachable for the uh, uh, power. It is off the board, mounted off the board a little bit, but there is a cord underneath there running to that little center knob there for your dimmer, which is what we come to next. So you can switch from manual to controller, and then you got your dimmer knob. Yeah, pretty sweet little setup. Nice little uh, budget light. We're gonna see how well it does in this two by two. So let's uh, let's get down to business. All right, we are back. We've got it all hooked up and ready to go. We've got it at our standard 17 inches off the deck here, as usual, for the two by two environment. That's a 16 inch canopy because the sensors are one inch off the deck. So here's the light. Uh, hanging kit's actually pretty nice. It's got the big uh, the big carabiners up top. And it actually has little carabiners down below, not just the little cheap clips. So, hey, bonus. That's pretty nice. And uh, take a look at the underside. Look at that. All the colors all neatly arranged. That's unusual. Usually they're just completely just blasted everywhere. But you can clearly see that we've got roughly about a 2 to 1 ratio of warm white to cool white. And then two nice long strips of red with a couple of infrared even mixed in and UV. This is a full spectrum light. It actually has a little bit of everything. Got another UV down there. Another UV down there. So four UV, four infrared, a bunch of 660 red, and then cool white and warm white, plus this sick design that's already painted on it. That's pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. <laughs> it's a cool looking light, man, for sure. That's awesome. So you can see we're only taking uh, like nine and a half watts. This is as far down as it'll go on the uh, the dimmer here. So let's see where we can go uh, to get to uh, seedlings and clones. Almost there. <laughs> Alright, it's about 1, 120-ish, somewhere in there. 110, 120. So that's going to put us at, already at about 60% on the dimmer. So that's for seedlings and clones, 60%. Uh, there again, this is a, uh, a little bit bigger than a 2x2. Two two. It's a 27 by 27 tent. So if you have a true 2x2, two two, it'll be a little bit better coverage. But uh, I really like the 27 inch. That extra 3 inches on, uh, on there really helps out with your, uh, with your growth space. And so that puts us at 43 watts. Not too bad. Nice little uh, propagation light. Then we kick it up. Let's go to the next one. Try and hit veg, which is around 350. Oh, we just ran out of knob. So 300. That's about the minimum I would veg with is 300. I like to be at 350, maybe 400 if I'm pushing it, but I've done as low as 250. So you could actually use this in this 27 by 27 tent at uh, 16 inches off the deck as a veg light. It would definitely, definitely work as a veg light in that capacity. And that's pulling 117 watts to veg that space. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's get a center reading here. Oh, 570 in the middle. So you're basically in flower territory there for the middle. 
try this edge over here. 365, see that's a nice veg, veg range right there. Try the far, far side here. 355, yeah I mean it's, it's a really good veg light actually. Over there, 350, yeah. <laughs> 27 by 27 veg light. Um, I would go with this, man. That's pretty cool. Now you could uh, drop it down a little bit and it would uh, increase the, the flower intensity in the middle, but it's not really going to increase the the outer corners very much because you're just getting at a, at a steeper angle. So less diodes are actually going to end up overlapping into that space. So you, a lot of times... A lot of people say, "Hey, move it down, and it'll and it'll do it. it. It just won't, or move it up, and it'll do it. It just it just doesn't. If you move it up, it's further away from the space, and then the inverse square law gets you. If you move it down, then it's too much of an angle uh, for the for the diodes to really hit and overlap too many diodes over there. Because the lower that you have it, the the lower amount of diodes are going to be able to overlap to that space. So this is." Uh, about where I think I would uh, I would keep it. You could flower with it if you wanted to in a two by two, I think, uh, since it's 570 in the middle and a, a true two by two is gonna be a little bit closer in. You could probably get away with flowering with it and get a decent result. You're not gonna get overwhelming result, but you're also only using 117 watts with this kit here. So, I mean, <laughs> It's not very much power. Not very much power at all. This is really, really nice looking light though. I like how they have the uh, the diodes just separated by color. It looks really cool. You, like I said, you just don't see that that often. Awesome. So uh, let's uh, let's bust out the, uh, the spectrometer here. And let's speaking of the uh, diode color. Let's go ahead and uh, test that. We'll see what kind of uh, what kind of a spectrum it's laying down. There we go. You can see that bump down there for UV. A little bump up there, 740 for infrared. It's got quite a bit of red. It's got that 660 spike. Their 660 spike is just about as high as the rest of everything else. It's really good. Got some blue in there for veg. It's a really complete spectrum. And there's on 822 PPFD. This meter's uh, 5 inches tall, so it is going to read higher. Um, there we go. There's the makeup. I guess if you want to drop it down 5 inches, I mean, here's the this meter right here so let me check uh if i can get even all the way to the corner here without blocking too much light try to get my hand out of the way oops i hit a button quit all right we're gonna see how that works 269 didn't really help let's try over here I can get my hand out of the way better here. So that's essentially lowering it by four inches. 232. Not really helping. But the center reading, the center reading slamming. 824. So killer. I love this meter. It's so awesome. So all that's left to do now is uh, let it warm up and uh, see what kind of heat readings we get. I imagine it's not going to be too terrible. It's not running a lot of wattage. It's only 100 watts. Nice little, uh, nice little veg lighter. If you want to grab a couple of these, uh, you could definitely uh, use multiple ones of these in a space. And since you can daisy chain them together, you can control them all by one dimmer. So pretty cool. And they're not too expensive either. But let's go ahead and uh, warm it up. All right. So I've let this warm up for about an hour or so. So let's. Uh, Take a look and see what we can see here. Looks like hot spot 145 right under the driver. Let's 
check the sticker over here. One thirty four. Driver itself, one thirty. So really, just hot spot right underneath that driver there. If you could pop that driver off, that would uh, that would help alleviate that, of course, somewhat. But other than that, not. Uh, I mean, pretty standard as far as the uh, the heat test goes. Not too crazy. Good shot at the. Uh, the underside again here yeah this would be a really good uh, veg 2x2 two two light or possibly like a, uh, a really ultra budget 2x2 two two flower light like ultra ultra budget just maybe like a plant or a couple plants preferably one plant but uh, yeah it's not a bad little light it's pretty sweet it's got the dimmer you can daisy chain them you get multiple ones of these together and then you're cooking then you are cooking so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, review uh, click the links below got the uh, discount codes down there and uh, as always till next time guys happy growing